One of my favorite things about the Jumper T16 is that it takes 18650 cells, which means it's really easy to swap out the cells when, when they get low. It's really easy to... I have 18650 cells for everything. So it's really easy to fit this into my existing charging ecosystem. But there are a few things I don't like about the 18650 cells. One of them is they don't last as long as they could. They last long enough, but like... The 2500 milliamp hour 3S that I kept in my X9D would go for weeks without charging. And that's especially true if you use a crossfire module. You now the high powered uh, module sucks your batteries dry even faster. So the batteries could be bigger, but there's one more thing that the inventor of today's product made this point to me. Well, he didn't, didn't make it to me. I just read it on his website and I went, hmm, you know, he's right. Because 18650 cells are easy to swap out when they run down, and that's the problem. You open this thing up, you unplug it, you plug it in, you unplug it, you plug it in, you un and eventually it wears out and it breaks. And, and let's face it, at the end of the day, literally at the end of the day, wouldn't you rather just plug it into the wall and come back in the morning and have it be charged up? That's what we're going to do today. We are going to install this internal battery including an external charger and an external charging jack so that we never have to open up the battery bay on our Jumper T16 again. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're gonna learn something today. Before I show you how to do the mod, I wanna let you know that I got the parts for this mod from this website, rcbatterykit.com. This is not actually a complicated mod to do, but I've wanted to do this mod ever since all the way back to my uh, Tyrannus X9D and I could just never be sure like that I had the right lipo charging board and just I never put all the parts together in one place to do it so I really appreciate this guy uh, putting together this stuff and selling it in a single piece kit that anybody could install uh, there's a link to this down in the video description it's not even an affiliate link it's just a great product that I think a lot of you guys want to know about now, if you already own a Jumper T16, this battery kit is probably the most effective and simplest way for you to get internal charging. But if you have not yet purchased a T16 and you're still doing your research, I got to tell you that the Radio Master T16S has been announced. It's not for sale yet. And one of the things that it has, it's just like the Jumper T16. In fact, Radio Master and Jumper used to be, these two guys were in the same company. Then they had some kind of a falling out. The guy left, he started Radio Master, and they agreed that they would both basically make the same product and compete. So the Radio Master T16S is almost identical to the Jumper T16, but one of the things it has is internal USB-C charging, and it is being announced at a price of $130, whereas the Jumper is $160. Who knows what will change about that in the future, but if you are shopping now and haven't purchased yet, maybe you would rather save the cost of this mod and just get the Jumper T16S, which already comes with internal charging. But for those of us who already own the T16, away we go. So let's take this out and perhaps for the last time, take this out. This has always been good to me, but I hear stories from people with more experience with 18650s who say that these trays are not to be trusted. And, you know, look at this. Here we go to... So I'm gonna, every time I charge it, I gotta... Uh, uh, in fact, there's even more good news because this is not even an 18650. It is a 21700, and that's more. It's bigger. It's a 5,000 milliamp hour cell instead of like a 3,000 milliamp hour cell. And the company that makes this product, they're like, no, really. Because a lot of 18650s, they're cheap, and they just basically lie about the milliamp hours, and you don't get it. They're like, no, legit. These are high, high quality cells. So what do we got to do in order to get these in? We got to open up the back of the radio. It's unfortunate. It's always a little annoying to have to do, but not the end of the world. In order to open the back of the radio, we're going to take out one. We're going to first take that. I always forget that part and I don't know why. We're going to take off the guards, the grips. We're going to take out one, two, three, four, five, six screws. And we're gonna loosen these screws and lift this up and take off the back. Let's do it. 
is a two and a half millimeter driver. You can just remove these entirely and you might just be able to loosen them and lift this up. It just sort of, well, I'll show you. I'm just gonna take them out. So it just hangs over that lip there. Many of you have already done this in the past, so it's a big deal. All right, set this aside, we don't need it. Now, the drill. <laughs> this is a 5 16 inch drill bit. If you don't have a drill for some reason, um, I couldn't find my drill bits. I found it eventually. Uh, you could take your soldering iron and you can melt the hole. Just start small, go slowly, slowly enlarge the hole until it's the right size. I mean, there's no going back, but drill bit's better, but maybe, maybe you don't have a drill bit. So I'm gonna drill in from the left side. Now here you can see me drilling into the side of the battery bay, which is what the install instructions recommend for the 18650 cells. But I have 21700 cells and they recommend that you drill into the top of the battery bay as pictured here. I did it wrong, it all worked out okay, but you should do it right. So yeah, it's one to, yeah. It's gonna make a mess now. Should have made a pilot hole. There we go. Just reverse it. Just reverse it. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit with a diagonal cutter. Definitely don't leave any like sharp shards or anything that could cut the wire. It wouldn't be ideal, would it? In fact, you might even take a, a file and clean the edge. If you were the kind of person who would do such a thing, which I am. Now, we're gonna take the plug charging plug let's see where does this go he's got it like right here I've seen other people put it other places but I don't know if this is really long enough so I'm gonna do like they do yeah I'm just gonna put it like right there it should be okay I don't think I actually like grip it like this but this is gonna come off I actually have plenty of slack I take that back I think I have plenty of slack here I'm gonna move it down to here. That should be safe. That one I could get clean because I could go all the way through without messing up the other side. Cool. Now the instructions say that you have to ream it a little bit to get it to fit. Let's see if that's true. That yeah, seems okay. Very nice work on the on the uh, like heat shrink here. There's a lot of attention to detail. Okay, we want to get that good and tight. So now that's going to come through, and we can reinstall the back. When you reinstall the back, watch out that the battery plug lines up correctly. Just. Uh, and the SD card will come, will get popped out if you push on it. There you go. It's lined correctly, and we'll put all the screws back in. One of the nice things about this mod is that it is totally self-contained. Once it's installed, you can take the back off. You have to, oh no, you do have to, you don't have to take the battery out, but you do have to, uh, damn, you do have to pop out the balance plug. Oh well. When I first saw this mod, I thought of a mod that was done to the X9D where you could install a charging board that charges off of USB. It taps into the five volt power and when you plug in USB, it, has, you know, it gets the power from USB. And I can't decide, I mean the upside of that mod is that you don't have to add any plugs or anything and USB charging is pretty much universal, whereas this requires this special charger. Plug this in and fish it into the case as much as you can. Because this is gonna be a tight fit. Well, that's getting in the way of the damn gimbal. Can't have the wire getting in the way of the gimbal. That's not okay. And it goes in label side down. Well, that is a tight fit, my friend. It's gonna not quite lay flat. 
It's going to kind of go in diagonally. Let's see if we can. Oh, yeah. Where will it go? Oh, it'll just go. Woo! Okay, I think that's going to be pretty good. Now, this here may look like your average uh, DC power adapter, but it is not. This is a LiPo charger. If you plug this into a DC power adapter, you it, that the, the charging board here is not made for use with a regular DC power supply. The upside is this thing charges at two amps, so it'll charge a lot faster. There is a, you can order this with a regular DC capable charging board, then it charges much slower, but you can plug it into any, just like, you know, 12 volt, whatever, wall wart. Um, but I got the fasty charging one. I need a extension cord. How do I know if it's charging? Oh, it turns red. Well, you'll take my word for it that the charger LED turns red when it's charging. Yay! And uh, the last thing we got to do is get the cover back on. And this is a tight fit. Another thing this fixes is that the battery no longer rattles around inside your tray. But on the other hand, it is a tight freaking fit. The uh, designer says he sometimes has to just push down on this tab a little bit to get it to go. There we go. Snug as a bug. And now I can charge my radio just by plugging it into the wall. If you want to give a shot to this mod, then uh, there's a link in the video description to the company that makes it. And I say company but really it's 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 just this dude as far as i can tell his name is bob and he makes these things um when you see the price you might be surprised it's 50 bucks and if you know a little bit about electronics you probably know that you could build this for less than 50 bucks but you didn't did you <laughs> he did and uh there you go that's what he wants for it so be my guess i also anticipate a few people saying jumper t16 is such a great value but then you have to add a 50 dollar battery mod to it well you don't have to you can if you want to i'm pretty sure if you look at the other 200 dollar radios out there a lot of them don't have internal charging either anyway it's up to you happy fine everybody